on systems of equations with subscripted variables, okay? So basically, what you're going to see is things like this. R with a little subscript A or R with a subscript T. And then you're also going to see T with a subscript P and then a T with a subscript R. Now, what these are right here, let's do A and T on these ones as well, just to keep it um, understanding. Okay, this R, R in math means rate. Okay, yes. T in math means time. Now, what you're going to be doing today, we're not actually taking the rates or times, you're just learning how to perform what I'm going to tell you to do. The little A and the little T, the subscript is what that's called. Those are actually people's names. So, so for example, this is the rate of Adam. This is the rate of Tom. This is the time of Adam. This is the time of Tom. Okay? That's what that means. So, R's are the rate, T's are time, and these are just people's name with their letter so that you know who you're talking about. So when you see TT or TA or TP or TM, blah, 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 don't freak out. The letters actually mean something, okay? Now, we're going to not do rate and time, but they're just going to get you using those letters to perform problems to start with. So, for example, here's what it says in 79.1. Solve the following system of equations for, they're wanting us to solve for RA, which would be the rate of Adam, for example. Okay? And here's the problem they give us. R, A, T, A, plus R, P, so it would be like the rate of Paul, plus the time of Paul, equals 320. Now, then they tell me that RP equals 50. They tell me that TP equals 4 and that TA equals 3. And so basically we're going to take these numbers and insert them where we see them. So RP is 50. So I'm going to put 50. And I'm going to go and put it in parentheses since they're going to be next to each other. TP is 4, so that means you're multiplying them, multiplying them. Plus, TA is 3, and RA, we don't know, that's why we're solving for it. So this is RA, and then that equals 320. So basically, this is like 3X or X3, so we're just doing 3 RA. It still means 3 times RA. Okay, or 3x, since we're used to working with x's. Okay, plus, now we're going to go on and do the 50 plus, or times 4, which is going to give us 200, equals 320. All right, now remember, we're trying to get RA by itself, but right now it's with the 3. So we're going to take this plus 200, move it across the equals, and it becomes minus 200. So then that gives us, what, 120? Good. And now we have 3 times RA, 3 times what equals 120. And since this is times 3, when I move it across the equal, it becomes divided by 3. So REA equals 40 is my answer, what it's going to be. Okay? So we solve for RA, which is what we wanted to do. Okay? Now, each of these ones is going to get harder and harder each time. So pay attention to what I'm doing. Don't just zoom out. Zoom out. Okay, here we go. Um, this one says solve the following system of equations for, now they're giving us two of them, TR and TT. So, for example, the time of Randy and the time of Tommy. Okay? Um, now, here's the equation. R, T, T, T plus 120 equals... R, R, and T, R. All right, that's the equation, and then they tell me this. R, T is 2, R, R is 10, and then they give me this weird saying. T, T is T, R. <laughs> okay? So now let's put in the information. Um, RT is 2. T 
TT is TR. Okay, let me put that in parentheses if you want to. Plus 120 equals what's RR? 10. TR. And say. So they only told us what TT was. Okay, so now this is 2 times TR, which is 2TR. Plus 120 equals, and then this is just 10TR. Remember, this means times. Okay, now I'm going to try to put all the TRs on one side and the numbers on the other. This 10 is with the TR right now, so I'm just going to move it over here. And since this is a um, positive TR, it's going to become a negative. So this will be 2 times TR, keeping this, and then this minus or plus a negative, 10 TR. Okay, and then I'm going to move this plus 120 and move it across, which becomes negative 120, or minus 120. So now this 2TR plus a negative 10TR becomes a negative 8TR. Do you see that? Okay. Um, so we would subtract 2 from 10 and get 8 and take the sign of the biggest number, negative. So now since this is negative 8 times TR, I'm gonna, I want to get the TR by itself. So this times negative 8 is going to be divided by negative 8. And then TR equals... Negative 120 divided by negative 8 is going to give us a positive answer, and that answer is 15. Okay? But they wanted us to solve for what? TR and TT. So TR is 15, then what is TT? Well, TT is what TR is. 15. Okay? Now, this next one I really want you to pay attention because it gets a little bit harder from here. Okay? So really pay attention to what I do. This is what it says. Solve for TL um, and TS. Those are the two things they want us to solve for. For example, time of Leslie and time of Sam. All right, now here's their equation. The rate of Leslie, um, the time of Leslie equals the rate of Sally or Sam times the time of Sam. All right, and then they tell me this. RL is 40. They tell me that RS is 80. And then they tell me this. TS is TL minus 5. That's what TS is. Okay, so now let's insert everything in. RL is 40. TL, they didn't tell us what TL was. I'm just going to leave it as TL. RS is 80. TS is TL minus 5. See that? All right. So now this just becomes 40 TL, 40 times TL, however you want to say it. Now this is where it gets confusing because this 80 is multiplied by this RS is multiplied by this TS. So this RS is going to be multiplied by this, so you have to do the distributive property, okay? So this would be 80TL minus 80 times 5, which is 400, okay? And that was the main thing you had to pay attention to, okay? So now I'm going to get um, our TLs on one side and our numbers on the other. So right now the 40TLs together and the 80TLs, so I'm going to keep those together for now. So this is going to be 40 TL, and since this is um, a positive, it's going to become a negative or a minus 80 TL equals, and I'm going to keep this negative 400 on this side, okay? And so now 40 TL plus a negative 80 TL, we're going to do like terms, it's going to become a negative 40 TL, right? Equals negative 400. And now I'm going to get the TL by itself. So since this is negative 40 times TL, um, I'm going to divide by negative 40. And then I get TL equals, and that's going to give me what? 10? 10. 10. And since negative and negative, that would make a positive answer. So TL is 10. Okay, now so look up here. We were supposed to also solve for TS. So if TL is 10, TS is TL minus 5. So TL is 10 minus 5, so then that tells me that TS 
whoops, <laughs> TS is 5. Okay? That's how you would do that. All right, I'm going to do one more. Make sure you're getting it. Pay real good attention. Uh, okay, solve the following systems for RF and RE. So the rate of Frank and the rate of Eli. All right, and here's the equation. Rate of Frank times the time of Frank equals the rate of Eli times the time of Eli. All right, now they give me this. TF is 16. TE is 12. And then RE is RF plus 15. All right, so now let's do this. TF is 16. TE is 12. RE is RF plus 15. Now I'm just going to bring everything else down. Okay, so what I basically get is 16 RF. You can put times if you want to. And now, this one you have to do the distributive property again. And if it makes, if you like to see this where the number's on the other side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 12 times RF plus 15. So I just rewrote this over here with my number on the, on the left. So then I'm going to multiply and get 12 RF plus 12 times 15 is 12 times 15. Yeah, that's what it's telling me. Okay, so I'll just do it. on one side and my numbers on the other so I'm going to move this 12 RF over here so this is going to be 16 RF minus 12 RF you can put plus a negative 2 equals 180 okay and then 16 plus a negative 12 would give me 4 um, and it's going to be a positive because I'm taking the sign of the biggest number RF equals 180 so now this says 4 times RF so 4 times what so we're going to move this times 4 to divide by 4 so RF equals 180 divided by 4, 45. RF equals 45. Okay? So if RF equals 45, then what does RE equal? Well, RE equals 45 plus 15. So RE equals 60. Okay? All right. That is lesson 79.